Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time, we are talking about data to analytics using Hadoop, Spark and Tableau. And uh, as part of this video, I will perform the Cloudera Quick Start uh, preview. As part of uh, setting up the environment, we need to understand what all tools are provided by the Cloud uh, Cloudera Quick Start uh, VM. And by this time, you should have Cloudera Quick Start VM, either VMware image or virtual box image, and you should start the VM. And uh, once you start the VM, you will see something like this. So, irrespective of the tool, uh, virtualization tool you are using, um, once you start the VM, the interface will be same. There might be some minor differences, but mostly the interface will be same. So, I can preview on one um, uh, uh, platform. Um, which is VMware Fusion, and you can um, uh, um, you you can uh, uh, ha perform the similar tasks on any of the images. Either it could be VMware Fusion uh, uh, on Mac, it could be VMware Workstation on Windows, or it could be VirtualBox on Windows or Mac. It 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 shouldn't matter. So first thing what we'll uh, look into is. Uh, first, we need to understand the usernames and passwords wherever it prompts. So, typically the username will be Cloudera, except for uh, some scenarios and we, I will explain those exceptions whenever we encounter those and password will be Cloudera. Usernames might change in some cases, but password will be Cloudera. So, first what we will do is, we will uh, actually preview the MySQL database, then Cloudera manager. Then we will get into Hadoop ecosystem, Scoop, Hive, and Spark, etc. So, as part of this video, I will only cover MySQL database and Cloudera Manager. So, when you go to the MySQL database, sorry, when you go to the VM, uh, there is this black icon on top. If you click on this, it will take you to the terminal. If you want to zoom in, you can do it by saying uh, Shift Control plus plus and uh, you can uh, uh, you can zoom in and now you can run command called minus mysql minus u root minus p and hit enter it will prompt you for the root password of mysql database and the password is cloudera and uh, then it will launch you into the mysql database that is running on the vm so this mysql database is used for several purposes the most uh, the, the purpose which we will be interested in is to have a simulated database of a retail data uh, retail data so you can run a command called show databases and hit enter it will list all the databases we don't need to care about any database except for the retail underscore db this is the only database which we will be interested in i just log in logged into uh, the database as root so that you 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 are aware of the other database also but for now you don't need to worry about it and also on top of root of uh, user for mysql there is another user called um, retail underscore dba and you can log in to that user also by using mysql minus u retail underscore dba minus p and hit enter it will ask you for the password and password is cloudera and you can see that it is logged in and then you can say show databases and you can see a database called retail underscore db information underscore schema is a system database which you, you need not worry at this time so if you want to select uh, the tables from the database called retail underscore db what you have to do is you have to run a command called use and then the database name which is retail underscore db in this case and hit enter and then you can run show tables and you can see there are six tables in the database categories, customers, departments, order items, orders, products, etc. So, I will uh, explain the data model also. For that, what you need to do is go to Google and search for Cloudera Retail DB data model and hit enter. And uh, you will see this exercise one Cloudera link. You click on that. And here it will actually show the data model. So this is the data model. So we have departments, categories, products, order items, orders, and customers. So when you actually log into a um, e-commerce e platform, first 
thing you, you will do is uh, sign up and when you sign up the those entries will be made into this customers table where a customer id will be generated uh, and then you will start submitting the orders so each order can have multiple order items so order orders table will have the order level details and for each item in the order there will be an entry in, in the order items and order item level details will be there in the order items table and each order item will uh, will be mapped to a product so uh, for example if i go to amazon.com and if i want to buy electronics i and if i decided to buy a sound system a tv uh, uh, and several other things uh, so uh, there will be a order item uh, there will be entry for my order item tv um, and uh, the product id will be for the tv and then there will be another order item for my sound system and the product id for that order item will be the product id for the sound system and then products can be categorized into multiple uh, categories and uh, at uh, and at a higher level for the categories we can have the departments you can run the table uh, you can run some queries on the tables to understand uh, uh, how the data looks like so if you go back to uh, to the data model departments is the parent table and categories is the, is the child table so there is one to many relationship between departments and categories and then you have products table which is child child table to categories and then order items is a table which is child table to both products and orders and then customers is the parent table for orders because for each order there should be a customer okay so we can actually run queries select star from departments there are six departments and this data is for apparel store uh, so we have uh, our fashion store so we have fitness footwear apparel golf outdoors fan shop uh, this is actually sports related store so there are six departments in the sports related store one is fitness department footwear department apparel department and uh, fourth one is golf fifth one is outdoors sixth one is fan shop and then each department can have multiple categories of products that you can actually check by running query on the categories table and here you have the department id and the categories so five is for apparel there is men's apparel women's apparel boys apparel girls apparel etc and then you can actually run search star from products limit 10 and hit enter Uh, here you you will have the product details and the first one is product id second column is product category id and then product name uh, product price and the image link for the website all those details are there in the products table and then if you go to orders and run this limit query you can see order id order date order customer id and order status Uh, so order status can be closed pending payment complete etc so we will use this data um, that is provided by the quick start vm itself to demonstrate how to integrate from a relational database such as retail_db which is running on a mysql into hdfs either by using scoop or spark jdbc and then we will actually process data using spark and uh, eventually we will visualize with uh, tableau so this is the brief overview about the mysql database and next thing i want to cover as part of this video is to show you how to launch the cloudera manager and you will understand the purpose of the cloudera manager so um, uh, you will understand the relevance of cloudera manager once we start uh, viewing those things so there are bookmarks on the desktop such as launch cloudera express and launch cloudera enterprise trial we will start using cloudera enterprise trial without clicking on these things click on the browser and there are book bookmarks on the browser also and the bookmark which we are interested in is the cloudera manager bookmark you can click on this and uh, then it will actually start uh, the cloudera manager for the first time and here you can see that they are saying the vm should have at least 8 gb ram and two virtual cpus to launch the cloudera manager otherwise it will not run so if for some reason it is taking a very long time what you can do is you can go to the command prompt 
go to desktop and run ls minus ltr there is a script called cloudera manager you can also run this one if this is not coming up after uh, for the first time Ho hopefully it will come up within couple of minutes if not i will forcefully start using the command on the terminal and terminal can be launched by clicking this icon and uh, you have to be on the desktop if, wherever you are just hit type cd uh, sorry you have to be on the home directory wherever you are just to type cd and hit enter you will come to the uh, home directory of cloudera and then when you run ls minus ltr you will see this command called cloudera hyphen manager you can use this command to start the cloudera manager if it is not coming up this way i have waited for some time and it is not coming up what you can do is you can go to terminal and run this command cloudera manager and hit enter it will show the options you have to run it as sudo sudo cloudera manager and hit enter and it will show the options if you want to start using enterprise you have to run like this okay so it will take some time to shut down all the cdh services and restart the cloudera manager we will wait until that time and then we will wrap up for uh, for this video so now the cloudera quick start is started you can see that now the page is automatically refreshed uh, for login and password on the cloudera manager here the username and password both are cloudera cloudera so typically wherever it prompts for the username it is cloudera except for the mysql and few other scenarios which you will understand when we face those things so once you log in you can see uh, what all this vm have as part of the um, hadoop so it has uh, hdfs it has the yarn it has scoop it has spark everything in this vm and we will uh, uh, preview each of these things as part of the subsequent videos so make sure you restart the cloudera management service here and also all the services here so to restart all the services you have to click on this small square and click on restart to restart cloudera management service you have to click on this and click on restart once everything is up and running you will see most of the things are in green and also you will start seeing the reports on the right side so that being said i hope you are enjoying the content so far about this course if you like this or if you want to provide the feedback please click on uh, uh, please click on the like button on my youtube video or provide feedback e either in udemy or by uh, pr uh, commenting on my youtube videos and if you want to discuss further about big data or how to please join my linkedin group called itversity hyphen big data and finally if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this and also stay tuned on udemy for future courses thank you bye